Now, a poem. The stockings are hung, the cookies are set, but I'm about to tell you a story you will not soon forget. We've been waiting all year and it's finally Christmas Eve, but the Santa that's coming tonight, you won't want to believe. A smash down the chimney awakens him with a jolt. His eyes grew wide with the visions of lightning bolts. No Xbox, no V-Bucks, and no Tech Decks this year. Only a shiny metal beast to fill him with fear. Cold steel claws for hands and teeth of razors. This heartless hollow can even had an eye full of lasers. What is this horrible monster? He said with a pause. Little did he know. It was the Robot Metal Santa Claus! With one small nerf blaster, but no way to use it, uh -oh. he suddenly hears the sound of heavy metal music! Ah, uh, your presence I will destroy. You have had a bad attitude this year. You were not a good little boy. What? That's not true! Said the boy with the fright. If you try to bring my presence, I'm not going down without a fight! Your human words mean nothing. You are puny and weak. Then out of his arm came a missile that seeks. With a duck and a roll, the boy avoided the danger. But how is he going to defeat this tall metal stranger? As the cyborg gets closer to the presence under the tree, I must stand and fight. I will not cower and flee. If it gets any closer, there will be no gumdrops, no candy canes, and no Reese's. I must find a way to blow this foul world up to pieces. Then, as fast as a rabbit, a memory came to his head about the other night when he put a rocket launcher under his bed. With a wink and a smirk, the boy ran to his room. One quick slide and duck, and he was ready to spread some dew. The rocket was loaded, the stock was pulled back. It was time to send his beast back to where it came from in a red Santa sack. With grit in his teeth and fire in his eyes, the boy looked down the site to give the cyborg a Christmas surprise. With a huge flash of light and a loud and thunderous boom, that boy sent the rocket flying across the room. With the blast so bright, the boy's eyes, he had to shut. And a shock wave so powerful it made him fall on his... <clears throat> Cannot say that word? Santa is watching. Anyway, the dust had all settled and the boy stood up from the floor. But to his shock, the robot still stood even angrier than before. You shouldn't have done that. The beast said with a scoff. The boy stood in disbelief. The shell ricocheted right off. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. The boy pleaded in screams, but with red glowing eyes. Robot Santa fired his eye beam. <laughs> the presents burned and exploded like the 4th of July. The boy watched in shock and just wondered why. The presents, the tree, Christmas was destroyed. A creak and a clank, the robot turned his head and told the little boy, You didn't listen to your mom when she said to eat your food, but worst of all, to your brother you were rude. Then, as quick as it came, Robot Santa was gone. It blasted through the roof with its afterburners on. No, no. Why is this happening? What have I done? The boy said as he sat in the dark with his hands on his head. He thought back on the year and all the bad things he has done. Then he remembered the worst thing of all. Controller batteries he stole out of his brother's Xbox One. So you wrote that whole poem just because I stole your Xbox batteries? That was like a week ago. It doesn't matter when you did it, you did it! 